Well, still on the issue of uh, the press uh, and uh, something that uh, has made uh, controversial uh, reading from different social media platforms, uh, we did see the Supreme Court just declare the liquidation of the Post newspaper as illegal. And uh, you did tweet about this, and you mentioned something very interesting in one of the, your, your tweets uh, from yesterday. And I, I quote uh, you saying, truth is the Post had become frighteningly, frighteningly poisonous and unethical. What exactly did you mean by this? Well, what I started off with, first of all, um, I think when you talk about the poison and the, and, <laughs> and an ethical, it was the post that started the tribalism that we ended up with. It wasn't the politicians, it was the post. So the post became very anti-Tonga. And um, and then it would go for persons. It would go for people. It even even say to someone like President Lungu, the, the reporting was not fair comment. It would be it would be very personal. You know, look at the suit he's wearing. This kind of thing. So it, it very quickly uh, even at, at before um, President Lungu between Sata and. Banda, you know, between President, Sa President Sata and President Banda, the way the Post reported about President Banda was also very unfair and also very personal. So the Post became like a human being. You know, it became vindictive. It would fight battles uh, and completely forget about uh, ethics. But like I said, and then, of course, because of that, I think because they were in, in good books with the Sata administration, they just stopped paying taxes. <laughs> you know, they, they were living such a good life. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, they were they, they were they were the friend of the president, but that's not why they were closed. They were closed in order to silence the critics. So we need to we need to separate those two. We need to, uh, the, uh, when President Lungu's government closed them, that was wrong. That was dictatorial. Mm. But at the same time, the post was was had become very very destructive uh, in the country. Mm. But you went on to say it still that it was. It did not justify its closing, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so uh, despite this, and what does this also say about how exactly uh, media platforms, or even just individuals, can, can go as far as criticizing um, individuals in, in government and those who are within the uh, ruling party of the day? There are laws against it. Mm. You, 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 there's, there are defamation laws. There's, there's criminal libel. You go to court. You do something about it. You don't close. The, you don't close the paper. But the, but the, the, see, the paper wasn't closed. For example, if the paper had just continued on its anti-Tonga tribalism uh, 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 trajectory, but but still in support of the PF, it would not have been closed. Uh, but so. Just, hmm. So it was closed because it was making life difficult for the ruling party. Uh, let's also look at now the judgment from the Supreme Court. Obviously, they have uh, uh, taken the issue back of us to start afresh within the High Court as well, with um, the liquidator being a party as well. What do you think this also says about our, our justice system? Because you had the High Court uh, who made a ruling on this, and then the Supreme Court now, obviously, after the appeal, making this particular judgment. What do you think this says about our justice system? Well, we can only hope that it means uh, that things are going to improve. Chances are that this kind of ruling would have been impossible just a few months ago. But you can't say, but chances are. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, this, this case has been in court for a long time. So you, you hope I think, like I like like I tweeted again, that we're going to have fair judgments. You know, um, justice. Let's say, lady justice is supposed to be blind. So, in this case, yes, we 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 we, we like the the judgment. Uh, well, there's some people who who don't like the post. Actually, even up to now, they feel they still feel hurt by the way the post used to report. But what you hope is that when you hear a judgment and you read the judgment, you understand the reasoning behind the, the judgment. Where we had gone uh, in the last few years was the reasoning of judgments just made no sense to a reasonable human being. And, that, and that's very dangerous because then uh, citizens lose trust 
in, in, in justice. So let's, all we can do is hope that where we are going, when we hear a, a, a judgment, whether you agree with it or not, you at least be, understand its reasoning. Well, as we uh, just get to wrap it up, uh, still on the issue of the decision that was made um, uh, by the judge's ruling uh, on declaring the liquidation of the Post newspaper, uh, what do you think should happen to this judge? Because uh, uh, in the name of Sandin Conde, he has received uh, condemnation. Um, seeing that the petitioners, in this case uh, being the Post newspaper, were never accorded a chance to be heard at that time. Judge Sante God, um, his name has come up in all manner, all manner of problems. So let's, I don't know, let's leave it to the judiciary. Let's leave it, let's see what the Judicial Services Commission will do, what the judges will do. But there are judges on the bench that really should, should leave. But we have to understand that it's very difficult to get rid of a judge. Very, very difficult. Because you need tribunal and all, they've got security of tenure. But there are some judges there that have totally, totally damage the reputation of the judiciary. And going forward, you know, when you are, when you appear before them, you'd be, as an individual, you'd probably be scared because of what you've heard. You know, you don't know whether this is going to be fair. So, but in this case, when a judge is really named in a judgment by other judges, then you, for goodness sake, how, do, how does he continue uh, presiding over cases?